We are about to leave Kingston, Ontario and head to Trenton. We have a very long day today, 66 nautical miles. We're getting started early. It's about 7.20 right now and um, this is when the wind looked the best for us to leave. So we do feel a little bit of wind right now, but it should be fun. We're gonna take it nice and slow. It's a very packed marina, as you guys very saw when tight. we came in a few days ago. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. You ready to cruise today? You gonna go for a cruise? Sit. Paul. Paul. Good girl. No treat. This marina, Confederation Basin, is definitely where you want to stay when you visit here because it is right smack downtown. Like literally one block away are so many really solid restaurants. You have a beautiful park, the farmer's market. Last weekend, the week, like the day before we got in, um, they had free barbecue ribs in the park for some reason. I, don't, I still don't know why, but this is where you want to be. This right here is what's known as the Big Gap here in Kingston. And it's basically where the islands are kind of separated a little bit. So you have the long fetch from Lake Ontario. And when it blows out of the south, southwest, it really blows hard in here. And that's the prevailing winds. So those are the winds that happen most often. This area is amazing for sailing too, because Kingston is known as the freshwater sailing capital of North America. And I can see why. You got good wind, you got large open bodies of water, and then if you want to actually like do things outside of sailing, there's the national park. It's awesome. One of the things that we did not have time for, yet we wish we did go and see and do, was visit the penitentiary here in Kingston. Now the penitentiary was closed a while back, but they have tours, they have architectural tours, they have history tours, and an extended tours of the facilities. It was a recommendation given to us by one of our viewers, which we really appreciate. It's a fun thing for us to look forward to when we come back to Kingston. As you can see, it's pretty windy right now, but one of our determining factors on going today was how calm it was last night. So since it was calm the night before, that gave all the seas time to calm down and all of the swell on the lake. So even though the wind is pretty strong, while in 10 knots it seems like, it's not bad because the sea hasn't built up yet. We just passed side the edge of this barrier island. There is a noticeable difference in the swell from Lake Ontario. It has completely calmed down because of this barrier island and made for a much more relaxing, enjoyable cruise. It wasn't terrible by any means, but it just wasn't like enjoyable and now it's gone to enjoyable. We'd like to take a minute to thank our sponsor for this video, America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. First heard about this boating journey around the United States and Canada, we searched, became obsessed, and found the AGLCA. We quickly became members and the benefits have made our Great Loop journey one we won't forget. AGLCA is the destination for planning your loop. 
You can interact with other planning, current, and gold loopers in the Great Loop Forum, as well as search all previous posts and discussions to answer all of your Great Loop questions. As a member of America's Great Loop Cruisers Association, you also get access to the vast network of AGLCA Harbor hosts. As local experts, they help you simply get places, accept packages, or tell you the must-see places that are in the area. The best part of AGLCA is the wonderful community. With your membership, you get access to the white AGLCA Burgee. Flying the Burgee brings the AGLCA community to life. You'll start seeing them in your local marina, people will start asking you questions. It's amazing. Once you complete the loop and cross your way, you can then fly the gold Burgee, which we hope to do one day soon. You can become a member of America's Great Loop Cruises Association at greatloop.org. Now, back to our cruise to Trenton. Today's cruise has been really nice so far. There's only been that one section that wasn't like as calm it is as it is now, but right now it is just like so calm and so enjoyable and the sun is out, there's not many clouds in the sky. It is just beautiful. The cruise is just really, really nice today.
it has been a really nice cruise today. Um, everything's been going well, although it's been very long. <laughs> It's been almost 10 hours that we've been cruising. A lot of wind today, but not a lot of, it has, the cruising has been good. There hasn't been any swell. And we're only two miles away from Trenton, which is the start of the Trent Severn Canal. We are not going into the canal today. Um, we will do that tomorrow. But the goal is to moor at the first lock wall. So that should be fun, we'll be looking at the Trent Severn Canal by the end of the day today in about 30 more minutes. Excited for that? Yeah, I am. Today's been a very long day. It, there's a heat wave going across the United States and Europe and I'm sure across the Northern Hemisphere, it seems like. Today's high was 90 degrees Fahrenheit and it was a scorcher. The UV index was super high. It was just like really hot. So. I think that's another thing that's just kind of taking a toll on us today, feeling very, very drained. So I'm excited to get to the start of the Trent Severn and like and for this cruise to be done because it's just so long. I've been getting good work done. I've been I finished one vlog and I started another. So good job. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a fishing tournament started. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, bass boats that just left Trenton. Cool. Zoom, zoom. Turn around and give them a run for their money? Yeah, we lose. <laughs> From Key West <laughs> to the beginning of the wow. Trent Severn Waterway, we made it. It's unreal. It doesn't it, feel real. It feels so wild to be here right now. And wow, how cool! It's amazing. I can't wait to do this whole canal. It's supposed to be world class, one of a kind. Yeah. And we're here on our boat. Our All boat that we brought. <laughs> how cool. We are attempting to go to the lock wall tonight, which we really don't know if it's possible. We're gonna just kinda go and check it out and then see where we go from here. There were a lot of loopers in uh, Trenton, the Trenton Marina. I think it's Trent Fort Marina. It looked nice, it's got good reviews. So if you do like going to marinas, I'd recommend going there. But we were just at Kingston uh, at Confederation Basin for three nights. So we are kinda marine it out. It'd be nice to be on a wall or anchored, uh, and you can anchor in some of these like rivers too. So we're back in the land of who knows where we're going. Actually, we've been in this land for a while. Who knows where we're going?
safe trip up, trip, trip up in the morning. Okay, thank you so much. I am just like so surprised. Canadians are so kind. Like, they're so nice. One might say they're kind Canadians. Wow, that's like a real fet far fetched. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Today we are eating outside because it is so hot. It's 7 p.m. and it's 84 degrees still. So we are trying to keep all of the cooking heat outside so that way it does not warm the cabin too much for, for sleeping tonight. Tonight for dinner we are having a grilled romaine salad with some edamame, grilled corn, cherry tomatoes, avocado, whoa, parsley, whoa. Some other good stuff and a, like a lemon vinaigrette and then we're having that alongside some burgers, some impossible burgers. So it should be good. It's so crazy, there's so many birds chirping here. And we're kind of still in a little bit of an industrial area, like there's a plant over there. Some sort of plant, I don't know what the factory's doing. There's a railroad here and then of course the city of Trenton's just behind us. But the birds are out and it's kind of nice. for today's vlog. We hope you enjoyed cruising with us on a very, very long cruising day. This was probably our longest cruising day since our Atlantic day over a month ago. We hope you stick around as we start the Trent Severn Waterway tomorrow. Um, make sure you're subscribed and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks and we'll see you tomorrow. Is it Trent Severn or Trent Severn? I don't know.